After a show, though, one lady took interest in me, doing some drinking, and then she offered to take me to a party. You need to know this was in the desert. This was the night that TLC saved my life. She takes me to this party. It's a house in the desert surrounded by trucks, pickup trucks. And I was like, so, uh, are there any girl, ladies here? Like, what, what is going on here? She's like, I don't know. My friend Cheryl's here. I was like, all right, that's good enough for me, all right? <laughs> I go in the house. There's four dudes with no shirt on. <laughs> tattoos from here all the way up. Everywhere, just covered in tattoos. I'm like, oh shit, I'm at the Proud Boys Jamboree. <laughs> I got it, all right, I've heard about these. Like scary ass white dudes covered in tats, no shirt. Turns out these, are, these guys are in a band. Oh, got it. They're, uh, they're passing a bottle of whiskey and pressing CDs. Pressing CDs, they're making CDs. You know, I don't know, you guys remember back in the day, the CD had a label on it. There's a machine that presses that. They were making CDs for their fucking band. CDs, and you know, I didn't have the heart to tell them about Spotify. <laughs> because I thought this was hilarious. So let's see what's going on here. Then they got me involved in the pressing and the drinking of the whiskey. <laughs> and uh, you know, I can, I can connect with people on some level, you know what I mean? Like you could be acting out of your mind, but you, you're passing a bottle of whiskey. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm here for you, I'm here for you. The, the thing broke, the fucking CD thing broke. Like, oh fuck it, let's go to the backyard. We go into the backyard. It's a yard filled with washing machines. <laughs> just broken washing machines, other utensils as well, but a lot, mostly washing machines. And with these guys, these scary guys, man. And the leader was the singer in his band. His name was Flood. And I hope he's not watching this right now. Because Flood looked like he could kill somebody. And I, I wanted to like, uh, sort of ingratiate myself to Flood because it was his place, you know? So I asked Flood, I go, hey man, what kind of music does your band make? He goes, well, I'm the singer. I write all the lyrics, and uh, I like to write about 12-foot uh, concrete dildos and lighting fires. <laughs> and I was trying to be nice. I was like, wow, that sounds lovely. I'd, I'd love to hear your dildo song, sir. <laughs> if you could play the, the dildo song. And Flood, uh, Flood just screamed, Raina, play the dildo song! And this like creature came out from behind one of the washing machines. <laughs> with a Bluetooth speaker. And I hadn't seen her yet. There wasn't many women there. And she, she played the dildo song. And I had, it's one of these bands where they, uh, they scream and growl. You can't understand the lyrics. Ah, this kind of thing. Ah, oh no, what's up, oh no, this kind of stuff. And I'm listening for dildo, nothing. <laughs> listening to fi for fires, nothing. I can hear nothing. Uh, but I didn't want to be, I didn't want to be a guest without manners, so I told, I said, Flood, man, that's great shit. I really, that's fabulous, man. <laughs> and then uh, I'm just happy at this point just to be alive, you know, with these proud boys. And then Flood asked me, uh, what kind of music do you like, dude? And I was like, shit. Uh, in my head, I'm like, I can't, what if I tell this guy what I really like? Because Flood is like, ah! And I'm not anywhere near that with my music taste. But I was thinking to myself, fuck it, man. In life, people got to like you for yourself. So sometimes you just got to put yourself out there. Like on a date sometimes. You don't want to show who you really are maybe on the first date. I said, fuck it. I'm just going to tell Flood what I really like. And if he either loves me or he doesn't, you know? I said, Flood, all right, I'll tell you who I like by telling you who I'm going to see in a couple weeks because I'm very excited to, to see this show in Ontario. And it's, uh, it's Keith Sweat. <laughs> Jodeci, 112, TLC, Escape, and Genuine. <laughs> and I thought, I wasn't sure how he was going to take this. You know, this is a man who growls for a living. <laughs> so I just kind of watched him and he, you know when someone does like this with their mouth? That could go bad, that could go south. People that, 
<laughs> it's like their mouth is trying to keep them from ripping your head off. You know? He just, he did this, he said, you know, bro, I really like that TLC. <laughs> Raina, play some TLC! <laughs> and then Raina came up from behind the washing machine with the Bluetooth speaker and started playing Scrubs. And me and Flood fucking just getting down to Scrubs by TLC. Me and fucking oh, Proud Boy Flood. It's really bonding. That's how TLC saved my life. I asked Flood for a CD. Because I drive a 2010 Honda. I'm probably the only person out there that can still play a CD. And I was like, let me, let me give this dildo song one other go. And I'm gonna, I think maybe on a second go round, maybe I'll be able to hear dildo in there. I hit it a few times, boom, on the way home. Hey man, you gotta be high, but in there you can hear concrete dildo, 12 feet. <laughs> Good job, Flood. Good job, Flood. Well, I'm just happy to share that story with y'all tonight. That's a, this is why I don't go on dates with women that I meet at a show. 